I've been buck tracking since 2015, and it has become my favorite way to hunt. I've had some close calls, but no kills, and after eight years of defeat, it's starting to get on my nerves. But there is no way that I'm throwing in the towel. The stubborn Finlander in me refuses to quit. These eight years have not been wasted. My skills are sharpened, and I am on the verge of a breakthrough. Well, my body's aching, but hey, we're, we're, we're here. How'd you sleep? Better. You see, look like you're just dead. Got cold. Oh, you did? Yeah. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Have some fun, dude. Yeah, Ooh, I just farted. <laughs> I found what appears to be a very big buck track. The only problem is it's just not, not real fresh, but look at the size of that. It's a beast. Having some difficulties finding much for tracks this morning. So I'll keep moving, see if I can find something better. And deer's got a big track, it's just not quite fresh. Getting into some better deer sign though here recently. Here's some of the first legit fresh sign. No slammers yet, but it's looking up. Both Josh and I have just hit the wall. I just took a 15 minute nap, drove around, still was tired, having a hard time staying awake, so I pulled off to the side and took another 15 minute nap. So Josh took a good nap too, so I gotta keep hustling to try to get after something. Well, I found a good track here. It's about a little after eight right now. Nice buck, nice wide dews, heavy track. That's a good one. There's a really good look at it right there. That's a, that's an awesome looking deer. We'll get after him. Josh ended up finding a nice track crossing the road. He decided to get after this deer. It is so quiet. It's no so crunchy. It's gonna be really hard. Are your arrows like your underwear? Old and overused? Then it's time for you to get some new arrows custom made by Adams Precision Archery. To learn more, check out adamsprecisionarchery.com. So I found his track crossing right up there and the buck just went out into this cut here and it's feeding like crazy tracks all over the place so I'm just circling around trying to find where he exits. Check out the size of this track. What the heck is that? Is that a, that doesn't look like a bear, is it? I mean, it's like dinner plates walking through the woods.
Do you feel like you've lost your good looks and charm? <coughs> Fear not. For nothing says I'm a stud muffin. Quite like wearing a Stillwater Outdoors buck tracking shirt. Got a store right below this video. He's feeding. Here's his bed right here. <laughs> Still kind of soft, a little thing. He's looking out the whole valley here. He's in the slashing.
I see you.
I did it. <laughs> Go take a look. He only ran a few yards. Point of impact right there. Oh, he made it like 10 yards. He's a freaking massive spike. <laughs> Holy crap, I don't know what to think. Wow. Unreal. Well, I got a buck. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little bit of humble pie, shooting something like this when I have never shot anything. This is by far the smallest deer I've ever killed. You know, I just got taken up by the hunt today. Having that encounter with him earlier and seeing the buck fight that happened over there and I mean, it was just unreal. Everything about it was just so cool to get two opportunities at him from the ground. My strategy just worked out absolutely perfect. It was like, wow. I think I started back in 2015 buck tracking and this is the very first buck that I've killed tracking. It's pretty cool. I'm proud of this deer and I'm glad to finally be on the board. <laughs> God's been working on my ego these past eight years, and this moment was the culmination of that journey. There's no inches of antlers worth more than the lessons that God gives us, and for that I'm grateful. All that to say, I think this deer is the start of something great. Yes. <laughs> he had no idea that I was there.